Let me tell you something small about myself. You see those people who never wake up to the sound of an alarm, but every day they set a new one, hoping that new day will be different. I'm one of those. I can wake up early if I sleep early, but I won't. And I'll now deceive myself with the alarm. Eventually, I wake up five minutes to class, quickly get dressed, then finish off assignments, see friends, go for prayer meetings, cell meetings, choir rehearsals, Bible studies, and get back to bed tired as if I was carrying the whole weight of the world on my shoulders. Then one day I realized that I was going all about working for a God I didn't know much about because I would do all but wait on him. Now, life can get really busy as we hustle to make ends meet. And then the need arises for us to prioritize our daily deeds. But then, just like Isabella, the first thing that we tend to drop off our list is our quality time with God. And then to dissipate our guilt, we choose to um, rattle some tongues under the shower just to make up for time lost, not sitting at the feet of the master. Humans generally have a problem with waiting, right? We do. Because even in traffic, you can literally feel the tension in the air as frustrated drivers and passengers anxiously await the green light amidst the wide range of insults and the heat of still air. In the bank, you see many like me trying to cut corners and make it to the front just because we've been sold a lie that the wait is painful and irrelevant. But like a seed falls to the ground, but later shoots up beautifully into the sky as a giant tree, like a woman, pig seed, and endures pain for nine months just so she can produce another human molded in the image of the Father. Like Joseph, waited in prison for years to become the nation's second in command. Like Elisha, waited on Elijah and ended up with a double portion of his anointing. Like Jesus, waited 30 years to successfully fulfill a three-year ministry. Wait on him. Wait on him early in the morning. Before the business of life sweeps your gaze off the master's face. Before the numerous confusing voice of the world dampens, dampens the sweet, tender voice of the Holy Spirit. Before the fabrications of the accuser of the brethren fills your heart with unnecessary fear, wait on him till every single alphabet in his word comes alive in your spirit, till his and your spirit become one, till he leads you where your trust is without borders and gives you strength and grace for the day's battles. Wait on him. Now wait on him till you are reminded daily that you are not of this world, that you've been sculpted for the use of the master. Wait on him. I said wait on him till every single word about your life comes to pass, till his purpose is deeply imprinted in your inmost soul. Wait on him. Wait on him till lost souls become a priority. Wait on him till heralding his return becomes your responsibility. Wait on, on him. him. And when waiting seems difficult, remember that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. And forever their song shall be. Oh, 
wanna see ya on the rack Here I the end, mama, yo I think I'm going to audition Watch everything in my catapult What do you call me, my phone, my What mama call me, my shame She said my time for a new world It's a mom, it's a sin Sit down. 